हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल पैथोलॉजी मास्टर होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर पार्थ आई एम द कंसल्टेंट पैथोलॉजिस्ट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू केस एंड इमेज बेस्ड एमसीक्यूज वी विल कवर टेन इम्पॉर्टेंट केस एंड इमेज बेस्ड एमसीक्यूज इन द टूडे इज प्रेजेंटेशन सो गाइज यू आर वेरी वेरी फेमिलियर दैट फॉर द कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम द सीनियो इज गोइंग टू बी चेंज from the one liner mcq to the case and image based mcq such type of mcqs are being asked now in the neat exam and in the usmle type of competitive exam these mcqs are very very well known so we will cover case and image based mcqs rather than one liner so let's start the discussion with the first mcq the 2 year old child is having the red elevated lesion over the scalp which is bleed on the touch following is the histopathological image of the lesion so give your probable diagnosis so guys here three important hints are there the lesion is red means it is a vascular lesion and it is bleed on touch so we can assume that it could be some of the vascular lesion and this is the histopathological image so guys we will see it in the zoom view So you can see that in the given histopathological image it is a skin covered tissue and below which there is a presence of abundant endothelial lined blood vessel these small are the blood vessels you can see in the stroma there are proliferation of the many small blood vessels and these blood vessels contain rbc as well within it that's why these are the increased blood vessel okay now you might have question that increased blood vessel is also a feature of granulation tissue but so much blood vessel proliferation can never been seen in the inflammation in the granulation tissue here there are tremendous proliferation of the vascular tissue in the stroma and you can see that arrangement is the lobular that's why this is the case of vascular tumor it is a benign vascular tumor hemangioma so this is a slide of hemangioma obviously it is not lipoma because in the lipoma there should be presence of fatty tissue right adipose tissue is not seen here so it is not a lipoma here there is also absence of proliferated fibroblast in the fibroma there is a abundant fibroblast proliferation which is spindle shape with a centrally placed nucleus so it is also not the case of fibroma and in the epidermoid cyst there should be presence of lamellated keratin over the squamous lining right the keratin is present in the epidermoid cyst here keratin is present so it is not epidermoid cyst as well so it is the case of hemangioma okay second mcq the patient is complaining of the dyspnea means difficulty in breathing his arterial blood gas analysis is normal patient is chronic smoker chest x ray showing hyperinflation of the lung the spirometry was planned which shows the reduced fev1 to fvc ratio put your probable diagnosis so this is the pure case based mcq now here first of all there is a presence of dyspnea so it, it could be cardiological or respiratory cause patient is smoker so that is in favor of bronchitis emphysema or cancer like condition chest x ray show hyperinflation of lung which is a feature of copd and the most important clue here given is the spirometry finding spirometry is the pulmonary function test in which you can decide the force expiratory volume in the one second and you can decide the force vital capacity of the lung so you can decide that how much your lung is working to take the air into the lung and to exhale the air out of the lung so you can decide these two parameters and if the ratio of these two fev1 to fvc is reduced then it is a case of copd so your diagnosis is emphysema because this ratio is reduced so hope you can understand that this is a case of emphysema okay this is the image based mcq which is the type of emphysema in the provided image centrisinar panisinar irregular or none so guys you have to remember that emphysema means irregular dilatation and destruction of the acinus 
the acinus is composed of respiratory bronchiole this is your alveolar duct and this is your alveoli right the dilatation and destruction of these three is known as an emphysema if the dilatation and destruction is seen in the respiratory bronchiole only then it is a case of centri acinar emphysema if it involve all the acinars then it is case of pan acinar and if it involve irregularly then it is a case of irregular emphysema here you can see that dilatation and destruction is present only in the central or proximal portion means it is present in the respiratory bronchiole only that's why it is known as an centri acinar emphysema so it is a case of centri acinar emphysema because only respiratory bronchiole is involved right you can see my video on the emphysema for the de detailed discussion about it so kindly see that video first so your answer will be centri acinar okay fourth mcq it is a case in image base both mcq 44 year male patient is having elevated sgpt level and the cholesterol level is high liver biopsy if done then it it will show the following finding so what could be your diagnosis so guys sgpt level is increased that's why you can you can presume that you can predict that uh, liver is getting damaged that's why sgpt is increased because it is the one of the liver enzyme right sgpt is specific to liver if there is a liver damage then only this enzyme will be increased cholesterol level is high so hypercholesterolemia is a risk factor for development of fatty fatty liver now we will zoom the figure so you can see that in the provided image there is a adipose there is a macrocyst formation the nucleus is displaced to the periphery and the fat accumulated produces the clear appearance you can see that all are the macro vesicles and some of them are fatty cyst right so it is a characteristic finding of the fatty liver so this is a case of fatty liver it is not a cirrhosis because in the cirrhosis there is a presence of hepatocyte nodule which is separated by fibrous tissue here fibrous tissue and liver hepatocyte nodules are not present that's why it is not cirrhosis obviously it is not a case of uh, hcc also hepatocellular carcinoma in which the hepatocytes are proliferated that is also not present right so it is a case of fatty liver fifth mcq identify the marked hematopoietic cell in the provided image of bone marrow aspiration metamyelocyte late normoblast megakaryocyte or myelocyte so guys uh, the marked cell is showing you the specific granule you can see that in the cytoplasm there is a presence of many granules right these granules are present so whenever the granules are present obviously it is a cell of myelopoiesis series right it is obviously a wbc series cell when the granules are present and the size is somewhat small right and the granules are present that's why it is a myelocytes in which the specific granules are present so it is a myelocyte why it is not metamyelocyte the granules are also present in the metamyelocyte but in the metamyelocyte the nucleus is showing indentation which is not present here that's why is a it's a myelocyte cell okay sixth mcq four year patient is having pyrexia of unknown origin complaint the bone marrow aspiration was done so identify the pathology so guys uh, this is a case of pyrexia of unknown origin there was no obvious cause for the fever that's why bone marrow was done and it was showing this uh, structure you can see that this structure is sickle shape or we can say banana shape right it's a banana shape structure and you can see that there is a presence of hemozoin granules within it this brown color granules are the hemozoin pigments right so banana shape structure with the hemozoin pigment is obviously your gametocyte this structure is known as an gametocytes right so such banana shape gametocyte is seen in case of an plasmodium falciparum so it is a case of plasmodium falciparum it's the most important mcq guys such type of mcqs are very familiar to be asked in the competitive exam okay 
7th MCQ identify the mark to cell in the image. So what can you see in this cell? You can see that nucleus is pushed at the periphery, right? There is a somewhat perinuclear halo around it. So such peripherally pushed nucleus along with perinuclear hoof is classical finding of plasma cell. So this is your plasma cell. It is increased in case of plasma cell dyscrasias and multiple myelomas, right? It can increase in plasma cell dyscrasia. Okay guys, 8th MCQ. Identify the mask structure in the image of HIV virion, which is this structure. So obviously it is a envelope glycoprotein of the HIV virion. It is a GP120. With the help of GP120, this HIV virion will enter into your cell membrane, right? It is not in P17. P17 is present in the central portion. Sorry, it is here. So it is a GP120 through which the HIV virion will penetrate the cell membrane. Okay, 60 year 9th MCQ. 60 year male patient is having weakness. His spleen is getting enlarged. His total count is 85,000 and the peripheral smear shows 45% myelocyte. Following is the molecular image. What is your diagnosis? So guys, the first clue is enlarged spleen. So it could be case of leukemia. The count is very high, 85,000. That's why it is a case of leukemia. Now, here the increased number of cell is myelocytes, 45%. In the leukemoid reaction, such premature cells like myelocyte, metamyelocytes are seen only up to 30%. It is seen only up to 30%. Here it is 45% and specifically myelocyte. So it is called as myelocyte bulge. When such abundant number of myelocytes are seen along with enlarged spin, it is a case of CML. It could be chronic myeloid leukemia. It is not an AML because in acute leukemia, you have the increased number of blast. Greater than 20% blast are present. Here blast are not increased. Here increase is in the myelocyte. And second one, here you can see the 922 transformation means the portion of 9 is translocated to the portion of number 22 means some portion of chromosome number 9 will move into the chromosome number 20 22 this is called as chromosome translocation 922 that's why it is a case of cml okay 10th mcq final 23 year male patient having the sore throat complaint on examination he has the fever of 102 degree fahrenheit his neutrophils are elevated which substance could be responsible for the fever development so obviously fever could be because of interleukin 1 or tumor necrosis factor so your answer will be tumor necrosis factor thank you for watching i will be back with more videos so guys see you soon with the new videos if you are liking me if you like my video then subscribe my channel thank you very much guys see you soon